your SOIP website, you will receive an email on your registered email address. Also an SMS on your registered mobile number. Validate the student name and exam details both on email and SMS. Within a week or 15 days before the exam, you will receive an email with the subject SOF Olympiad exams important details. It would have all the details such as exam date, exam time, guidelines link and also mock test link. You would also receive an SMS with details of the earliest exam you are having. Few days before the main exam, you would receive a mock test email inviting you to participate in mock test. You would also receive an SMS with mock test link. Just two days before the main exam, you will receive an email with a link for the main exam. Copy link to the browser to participate in main examination. You would also receive an SMS of the same. I recommend checking the guidelines again before starting the exam. As mentioned in this email, under the column of upload ID card, please re-click your photo again. Finally, on the exam date, you will receive an SMS and also an email with the exam date, exam time and the link to participate in the exam. One more reminder SMS would be sent few hours before the exam. Before your child starts the exam, why not implement Microsoft Family Safety Controls on their laptop or desktop? Anyway, let's try and answer a few common questions. Till when we can register for this exam? Last date for registration of IGKO is 25th November. For IEO, it is 30th November. For IAO, last date is 10th January. And for NSO, it is 15th January. Even if your school is not participating in this exam, you can use school code AB9999 to participate individually. Totally, how many questions and marks are there in this exam? For class 1 to 4, there would be 35 questions and 40 marks in total. Only for IGKO, it would be for 50 marks. For class 5 to 10, all the exams would have 50 questions and 60 marks in total. Duration of the exam would be 60 minutes for all classes. For basic details of the exam, refer to the SOF overview video provided in the description. Mock test URL provided in the video description. Click on it and select the exam name and the class of the student. Then enter the roll number to start the mock test. Main exam would be similar to the mock test. The only difference is the student and the class details are automatically displayed once you enter the roll number. Now let's run the mock test on the mobile. But before we do that, why not create a separate space on your mobile for your child to attend this online exam? Also think of implementing Google Family Link controls to monitor their mobile usage. Although it is recommended to use a PC or a tab to participate in the exam. In few unavoidable cases, you can also use mobile for the exam. On the mock test page, select the subject and class. Provide the roll number and click on start mock test. Allow all necessary permissions. We can actually attend mock test multiple times. Select the camera to test. If you are able to see yourself, click on done. The main exam would be pretty similar to the mock test. If you are able to successfully complete the mock test on a specific device, the main exam would also run on it without any issues. Technical helpline numbers are given at the bottom of the page. Any time during the exam, if you face any technical issues, you can always reach out to them. Before starting the exam, kindly close all the programs on your device which may consume lot of data. As this is a mock test, we only have 10 questions with a duration of 20 minutes. The main exam duration would be 60 minutes. Proceed further to capture your photo. Hold the phone in upright position and align yourself into the frame. There is so much confusion about this photo ID card. 
As mentioned in the guidelines, just click your photo, that would suffice. Click on start test to get started with the exam. Remember, your video session could be monitored to eliminate any unfair means. So throughout the exam, make sure you are always visible to the camera. Hold the phone in an upright position in your hand throughout your exam. In case of any connection loss during the exam, do not worry, the timer is passed and your responses are safe. Exam would automatically resume from the same point once the connection is restored. No other person can be in the room by attempting the exam. However, for class 1 and class 2, a guardian may sit to read the questions. Choose a quiet room for the exam. Using of calculators or leaving the room is strictly prohibited. Make sure all the sessions of the exam are turned into green before you finish the test. Once you receive this message, thank you for taking the test. You can close your browser. Thank you for watching our video. If you find it useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. For further updates, follow us on social media at the rate of Shishi and Kushi.